Hi friends, welcome to my channel Tech Plugin. So hey guys, in today's our video we see about the WordPress dashboard. So this is for the beginners video who don't know about the I mean the dashboard what the dashboard provides us. So here I'm started. Uh, first of all guys, if you don't see my video about the WAM.net or the WAM64, that how we means um, install and uh, run all the wordpress services in our local host. so just click on this i icon and you just get my previous videos link okay let's start here you see the dashboard option there is here two options also home and updates so first of all um, we see about the dashboard so this is the dashboard here you see the site health status site has status is used for means so your site is uh, should be need to improve or it is okay or it is such is so difficult so it show here here a quick draft if you want to create something or give something so here you can give and this will help you okay at a glance will help you to show your pages posts and comments means uh, if i created one or two or three or a uh, hundred posts so here all the things are show here you see the update 5.5 means um, actually this dashboard is a wordpress 4.2 something so the new version is 5 means okay here 5.4.2 so the new version is 5.5 is coming and um, here here they show the activity which activity uh, means uh, just uh, published or uh, anything new you want created yeah here show this and uh, here is a wordpress event and news so another wordpress or their activity are performing there so here you get all the notifications about the wordpress events and uh, you can also means, manage them as your choice okay let's see updates Okay, first thing guys, this is the easiest dashboard for the CM, I mean the all CRMS software. And the, here the update you will see, an update for WordPress available. Uh, my plugins and, sorry, my plugins and themes are means up to date. If you, your plugins or your themes are show for the updating, so here you see the means notification. Okay, the next thing is post. In post you see here the four options, first all posts. Second is add new, third is category, and fourth is tag. So I am click on the all post. Here you see this post is uh, means uh, all of, means so when you download the WordPress or when you activate the WordPress, you see this post is common hello world. And now you see here their title of present, their author, their categories, and their tag. You create categories as you want and also the tags and the author means who created this if you use as for the blog for others also. So um, there means for the author the name others also and here how much comment uh, show and when is published. So I am just click on editing this and click on view this. Okay. you. Now, uh, if you want to create a new post, then you click on here add new or here add new to create. Also, he, in this section, you create the only post categories, the different different post categories as your post are shown. And you also use the tags. Okay. Here, I am you. I'm not using any builder or uh, anything. So, this is the preview of a normal when you, you know, means install WordPress without a any special theme or any special builder plugin so this block editor is open so i'm click here next 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 okay get started here you see this post editing option so the post name is here hello world and this is the message which they show okay here you see the paragraph the means the size the custom and the color settings also and uh, yeah here is the option for the tools and here 
here they show all the option most of the use for the creating the blogs or page or anything if you want to add something new to this so this help this is a page break this is a paragraph if you want to add the paragraph then help here the image i uh, used see here all means uh, if you click anything uh, in the side you see the view how it actually look okay this is a list gallery heading and uh, many more options there okay if i don't know which option is there and i want to i don't have any time to find then just write i'm here write short code okay see uh, the short code is help to insert the short code means uh, if you are using plugin and they have any short code so you can insert uh, the short code using this block okay after you make some changes i am like i am here doing changes one i will show you okay. here you see the option update here just click update and this post will be updated okay this is how show uncategorized which is uh, means this is a uh, um, our category and the hello world is a name by t admin i am already told you who write or uh, who means publish the name is here when and the comment okay this and uh, there is a reply if you want to give the reply and this all this thing is footer here 2000 tech plugin powered by wordpress okay we can remove all these things so if i just refresh this you see here the tech plugin option is already updated so this is how we use this thing okay go to another the tags is mostly used uh, like a hashtag if a uh, seo or uh, anything else uh, means uh, if a user find anything and you use this um, means word in your tag so it also help to search your website or the it's come in a search uh, google search engine so here media option is available okay i am not adding any media till now so it show like this but if you guys adding the media library so it's um, means uh, it show here many pictures and also you show this a list tag or it a grid tag uh, it's depend on you if you have means uh, how you want to just put it so here the option add new if you add new you here see a 50 mb size uh we can increase this we don't uh, means uh, we can increase by two way uh, inserting the php code here so like this or uh, we can do adding the plugin um means a uh, given example if you creating the website which is show the movie or another thing so you don't need means 125 mb uploaded or 255 it is not means required you required what 1 gb 2 gb so here also the plugin to uh, give this facility i am not uploading anything let's try okay i am here just selecting one thing and yeah i am selecting this see here uploaded if i click on the list it show this so here another option is page uh the pages which is uh, like this this is our blog page another we created pages like a home page about page and the uh, contact us and many more there so we created this pages by using this page tab okay this is the uh, already two pages which is uh, already available in this so if i want to create a new then i click on the add new and i'm just here return home okay uh if you want to add any another block then you click here and you get all this thing so i don't need a another thing
okay i am clicking here for the publish uh, i will show also you how to change this one okay but i am clicking here now the view page and this look like this it is ready i'm go to back um now uh, here the title option is show the author and the date option here the comment option is also show if i click here the comment which is show on the blog or um, you are any post will uh, show here that uh, who comment you if you want to just means uh, approve it then approve uh, you want to unapprove or you want to edit this or you want to trash or spam you can do anything by this and um, now i am going to appearance in the appearance you see here six options first is theme okay a uh, six term is uh, second is customize third is widget fourth is menu fifth is background and sixth is theme editor Okay, uh, this is the theme option which I already told you that uh, we use the themes and the plugins. So this is the theme option. Uh, I will use a simple theme WordPress free theme. Okay, I want to add the new theme. Then I click on the add new. Yeah, and uh, here you see these many things. and click here install Here you see they show that the parent theme is missing. So first I want to install the parent theme. So I here install. Okay, this is done. So here is a live preview. Uh, live preview. Here you can activate this, and here you can return for the theme installer. So I can means I first activated this. Yeah, it get activated. Then I activate this thing. Ah, uh, if uh, means almost uh, every theme don't have their parent theme, so you can directly install and activate it. But uh, in this case, the uh, this theme actually have a parent theme. So I want to first activate the parent theme. Then I activate their child theme. So this is the child theme and this is the parent theme. So I activate this. Okay, this is how you can now. Uh, I mean, so you install and the activate theme. Also, you upload your own, I mean, so your own theme by here upload theme option. You need this in a zip format, so you can upload it. If you have any other other theme in a zip format, so you can upload it here. Okay, the customize is used to custom means so customize your uh, means so uh, all the page or all the site like here. Ah, uh, this is the site title, and this is just another WordPress site. So I am here, right? Just a uh, WordPress site. See here also this change, and okay, I am not published, so I am not show you where also ah uh, where another change also do, but uh, this is the view. This is a tablet view. and this is a mobile view okay then in the color option you choose your background color and also your header and footer color the default or the custom 
there is shown here uh, you see the theme option where you want to show, means show the search in header if i cancel here the search menu is uh, search icon is cancel okay i am just put it here uh, if you want to show your author bio then you can show uh, if you don't want just you can remove okay on our youtube page post show full text or summary it is different if you want to show the full text then you show the full text if you want to show just only the summary then you here is a cover template here is the background image if you want to set the background image then here is the menu option okay uh, if you if you want to create your menu so first not i am showing you here but uh, you can edit or uh, create it here here is the widget which is this footer widget I am just open it here see the search option if I am remove it also gone if I add it also come so I am not doing anything here the home page setting is you can set your uh, some page in your home page so I have a sample page and home page if I click on the home page it comes to the home page okay blog page is gone and if you want to set up the post page then you can also set up this or if your site is a blog then you just put it uh, your last po latest post and if you want to add the additional CSS then you can add here in this section if you want to add anything Okay, I am just click on the publish. After publish, now uh, this show the changes. I am refresh this site. See? also you can change the theme okay. the next option is we already show the widget the widget is I am already told you uh, we created widget in a footer so this is how it's look ok in this um, it not show that we uh, add many footers here only show the two footers no we are added many footers as we require how much footers we needed we added here so here only two also we add the sidebars for our post okay first thing guys i am more forgot to told you about the in the customized section uh, as your theme uh, the customized section always change uh, this is a simple 2020 theme so this show like this but if you are using the daily theme or the some other theme or the elemental theme so the customized sections are uh, sometimes change so make sure you means, uh, which themes you use there so you know which are uh, where you do which means it's the best changes okay okay this is the menu here I am giving the name main menu and click on the create menu Okay, here you see the menu setting option. Uh, second thing is, guys, uh, always uh, means I'm already told you told you about the uh, how you use the theme is depend your customized menu. Also, here the menu of means uh, this menu is also depend on your theme because uh, if you use the DV theme, then it show only the primary menu, secondary menu, and footer menu. And here there are so many options. So first thing, just select desktop menu, mobile menu, if you want to just show the mobile menu and I don't want to show in another, so and just select which page you want to show, okay I am show just home page, click on the add menu 
if you want to show any post then you also show by clicking here if you want to create the custom link like uh, i'm here giving um, contact us and i'm not giving any link so i'm giving here hashtag because of the hashtag it's not given to miss any another link and uh, it's come to the original page okay and also we add the categories i'm here clicking the save menu okay this menu is successfully saved so i'm show you here what the changes actually do see home which is this page and here contact us if i click it's come this page here you see this hashtag okay this menu section is done i'm just closing this all tab okay here you see the customize option no oh, i'm already customized it okay sorry guys yeah here is the theme editor option uh first thing guys we this uh, i'm personal to you don't do anything here because if you write the code and if you don't means uh, if you just remove it sometimes it gives error sometimes it harm to your theme so it is uh, means uh, not make the changes in this section so here i click i understand and here you see all the coding pages of the theme header theme footer themes and the other style css you for zero for template also and many other things after doing some changes just click on here update file so this file is getting update okay i'm closing this this also okay here you see the plugin option there is three option install plugin add new and plugin editor so this two plugins is mainly available in mommy so when you add the wordpress these plugins are always uh, visible to show if you want to put this you put this uh, i am not refer to put uh, these two plugins uh, you can add plugins by clicking on the add new button if i want to the means uh, classic editor this i'm clicking here this is and just click on activate after click on activate this plugin is activate for your site and this show like this see the classic editor if you want to add your means uh, Wait. yeah if you want to upload your own plugins means you purchase the plugins and you want to upload in your wordpress site so here you upload it here also you need a zip format file so here just click on the choose file and just upload the file after uploading it gets uh, started to um, is uh, unseen and after this uh, this ask you for the activate the plugins then just click on the activate and the plugin is always activated this is the plugin editor like the theme the plugin editor option is also available but uh, i am already told you don't do changes in the coding because it's harm the themes also and plugins also and it harm your site also so i am not doing anything here so here the user option you have to see all user add new and your profile okay uh, i am only here user so this show here if you means uh, if you are uh, means uh, if you are site is e-commerce or any other registration site so here you see the uh, user list and uh, their role there are uh, some role like administrator editor and then um, uh, subscribers and there are many roles i'm just clicking here to show you okay here you can choose the color scheme which color scheme you want to if you want to blue then this convert in blue light sunrise okay which theme you like to put then you put for your customers also if you want to give this as put to your customer or anything else so you show this so i'm just putting as a default 
so here keyboard shortcut option there toolbar option here username make sure uh, I'm just tell you guys that the username is never change because when we log in we use our username so it is not available to change you can write your first name your last name your nickname your display what you want to display as a t-admin or if you want to give your name then is your name and other many different things here your uh, login email id is also show if you want to change your login email id then you want uh, which email id another email id you give here you want to first activate this then the another email id is uh, activated here the website which is the https tech plugin here you can write your info updated your profile if you want to set new password then you set password and after all the changes click on the update profile if you want to add new by yourself then you also add new by the username email id first name and website if they have then show password and what is the rule okay here you give the subscriber, contributor, author, administrator, editor role. So okay guys, after this uh, we use the tool here, the available tool import, export, site health, I export personal data and import personal data. So and click on the tools. Okay, here available to you show the category and tax converter. If you want to input your uh, data, so you can here. If you are blog, means blogger data, RSS data, WordPress data. Just you want to install these the tools, and after that you can ins ins uh, uh, insert or import your um, other site data here. And if you want to export any data, so you can export what is a post page or media or anything you want. To export the click on the file and it's directly export you don't need uh, any another means any another plugin so here the another option is site help okay here result are still loading i'll show so zero critical issue wordpress update which is show then uh, inactive plugins option is there and many another option is there pass test or okay, let's see 13 item with no issue detected which is these are all the items okay my site health is good in the info you see this all the information about your wordpress your plugin your server your database your file systems and many more things here so in the export personal data here you write your username and email address and just send to the request and you get uh, your your personal data if you want to erase your personal data just to choose your username and it's happened okay the main thing is here the setting here you see your site title here your tagline which we change in a customized option also here your wordpress address is your site address Sorry. here your administration email address if you click on the anyone can register this is also help for the e-commerce site if you giving them some membership or uh, if you're giving you some other another things and you don't click on the anyone can register so it is not possible users to register in your site so make sure you always click anyone can register you give here any role but uh, make sure you not giving the administrator role because this all the site is showed directly through the customer or anyone who means uh, who create the account so make sure you just put it here as a subscriber choose your time zone here so I am not setting now the time zone here your language ok what is the date format you want to put or the time format the week start on monday and just click save changes I am not seeing all this data 
because I'm just only showing you how we do. So here the writing setting is give me suppose category post format is also there. Then editor for all users the classic editor block editor you want. Uh, here only show the block editor but uh, you uh, I'm just uh, um, is, uh, install the classic editor then I show the plugin use to you. So this option is uh, activated now. If you want to switch editor then you want to switch. Okay, here the mail server is showing and the password also. If you want to give the mail server, then you give the login name and password. And here the update uh, package service. If you do any changes, just click on the save. I am not doing any changes. So here the reading setting. Your home page display your latest post or static page. So I am already show you how we change this is in a customized step. So this is how it happened. The blog post show and the, the sign up show and many more things. The full text or summary here also show. Make sure you never uh, you never click this one. Search engine visibility. This one. Never click. Okay, I am clicking in the discussion. Okay, here the post setting is there. Another comment setting is uh, email me whenever we see if uh, anyone posts on a comment of a, or a, a comment is moderated then uh, you get the email notifications also. And uh, many things is here like a uh, comment moderator, the comment block list, authors you can choose by clicking here which author you want. Just click and here it change. Here uh, in this here you also change the your options or uh, you can edit your profile so you don't want to go to user and select your name you can direct here to do all these things ok and just click on the media here you set your width height maximum width maximum last size for the uploading and the uploading files okay the main setting is here which is the prima link i see our link which is show hash means uh, p is equal to one is show about because it is the play if i give the post name or the page name okay and i'm not doing here anything and just click here as a save changes i show you what happened see hello world Okay, I'm just clicking this link so happening this. See, so the P is equal to 1 is directly convert in a page name or in a post name which is hello world. If I click on the home, it is equal to home because we set, the, we set this page as our main page or as our home page. So, the name of the page is gone from here. So, make sure you always put this on a post name and there is a privacy setting you can use the privacy policy and you just uh, write your or if you want to create a new then you just click here or also you go to the page and just you change there and the collapse menu is used for this only see ok this is all the dashboard here you can create a post media page and even you here you can edit your page add anything here you see comments here you customize your this is show the dashboard if you means uh, if you in a front end view so this is show your dashboard theme widget menu and this is uh, about the wordpress so in the back end it go to direct your site for the front end and in the front end it come for the back end option So guys this is about wordpress dashboard so just comment down that how means uh, you like this video or anything i want to grow in this so in the next video we see which five plugins are most important to all the wordpress site so guys stay 
connect to miss connected and the, if you like this video then just like subscribe and share my video bye guys hey guys if you like watching this video then like us subscribe to my channel share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon for the new updates thank you